All right, so I'm playing some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. On the PS4 with crossplay enabled, this is 10v10 team deathmatch on the Euphrates Bridge map. So I play this map countless times, but I find that even even now, several months into the game's release, it seems that like a lot of players are like just hearing them in the lobbies. It's like, oh, you know, I've never played this map before. So it's, I can kind of understand how it's like, you're kind of timid and unsure of like what to do in this map. I mean, I, I can sympathize. I mean, I, first time I played this map, I just kind of, I remember I was on the Legion side, so I just kind of hung out near the compound, like the, the spawn point, but definitely absolutely anytime there's a map with like verticality you always want to take and hold the high position i mean that that's just basic tactics you don't need to be like a genius to figure that out so after initially using my default class i've switched to my naked snake class and that's inspired by metal gear solid 3 one of my favorite games of all time Probably my favorite Metal Gear game as well. Um, so my primary weapon is an M4 that's inspired by the XM16 that's in that game. So I've got the Corvus Marksman Barrel, the M16 Stock, Monolithic Suppressor. Normally I don't have camo on my weapons, but I'm using like a woodland type of camo, commando camo this gun. The only thing that's really missing is the uh, the carrying handle that comes with the OG blueprint. It's also part of the breakup blueprint as well. I really hope it becomes available. A blueprint with the M16 M4 carrying handle. So I was killed by a sniper on the bridge. Where else? And then before that I was killed by a player Samurai. He's gonna kill me a bunch of more times in this video. So I kind of take a break from trying to take the bridge. And I go for some sniping. I get a nice long shot headshot kill. So obviously I'm using the uh, Dragon Up SVD, which is in Metal Gear Solid 3. I've got a bunch of attachments that are not in that game, but um. I was going for uh, trying to get gold camo for the dragon of so obviously I'm using overkill in order to have those two primary weapons I throw smoke I get killed by samurai again so I think that's the second time that player has killed me so far or is it the third probably the third Let's try again. There's myself and two teammates. I've got a teammate coming up. He gets killed. She gets killed. The character gets killed. I don't know if the player is a man or a woman. I've got terrible aim. So I'm kind of in a standoff. I throw smoke, but it lands behind. I misjudge Samurai's position and I get killed again. So we'll say three times by my count I've been killed. So we're down by eight. Other teams got a harrier in the sky. I throw smoke to cover my movement. Climb up the bridge as you can see. I get killed again. So frustrated. Four times in a row pretty much. Four times in total. I don't know if it's four times in a row, but definitely four times in total at least. And I get sniped by a player who's on the bridge, of course. But my teammates took down that Harrier, if I'm not mistaken. And so... 
This footage is from, I think, a week or two ago. But it seems at this point, really, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 is really... For the foreseeable future, it'll be the only game in town in terms of, like, military-themed first-person shooters, right? With Battlefield 5 not necessarily dying, but EA support for it has been officially discontinued. Has officially ended recently, so, I mean... Obviously, I can't imagine them just taking the game off the servers, but, like, they just won't be adding new content. Whereas, with Modern Warfare 2019... We'll have a new season within a month. So, going back to the game, we're within two. It's not an insurmountable deficit. But the other team's got a Wilson, so I get, my, get a comeback kill. And spoiler alert, this is spoiler warning, spoiler, whatever. This is, at this point, I turn the tide with my little comeback, my run there. So... Got two kills, a mini streak. My claymore went off, but it didn't kill that player. And I've noticed, I've noticed that with claymores, proxy mines, just explosives in general, including launchers, like they must, like Infinity War must have nerfed the uh, the the damage radius or something because. I noticed players, players with EOD, I mean, okay, that's expected, but players who have dead silence, they'll just walk by, place explosives, and not trigger them. Um, even players who don't have EOD and who aren't using dead silence, like, they might trigger the explosive, but they'll be totally untouched. And I think that might be kind of a, a side effect of... Uh, Warzone, maybe, because it seems around that time that was when explosives lost their effectiveness. So I've got a seven kill streak. I call in my Harrier right away. I put my sentry gun. I think I got a kill with my sentry gun. Okay, I get a kill there, but it gets destroyed almost immediately afterward, and I didn't realize it was destroyed by a player. Who ends up killing me. As you can see there from the kill cam. I must be like the only player who watches kill cams. My teammate's got a precision strike, but like we have a decent lead and we're about to finish it. My Harrier's got two kills, three kills, four kills, and guess who gets the final one of the match? Definitely, that decision to take the bridge despite getting killed four or five times by the same player. Oh, and I, f I killed I killed the Samurai to finish it off too. Yeah, so I went from four and eight to finishing eight and nine, so that's a, a 14 and one run. Definitely got to take that bridge in this map. 